here we have everything we need to hook up. We have the Raspberry Pi. This is the Model B. And we're going to connect this to the Grove Pi from Dexta Industries. And this basically is an extension of the 28 GPI O pins. And they connect together and it seats perfectly a little snug and you just kind of push it down firmly without trying to bend to break those pins. I had this old uh, RPI case and it's not going to fit because uh, I got the extension board on top of it, but I can put the bottom of the RPI in there and it's going to give me a nice seat in order to work. And you can see with the extension board, it really doesn't fit, but at least it's going to insulate from the bottom. Uh, this is a, an Edimax, a little uh, mini or nano Wi-Fi dongle that goes in the lower USB, and that's going to give us internet connectivity and connection to the Wi-Fi. Here's the RPI disk image that we downloaded from Dexta Industries, and we compiled and loaded on. So this is an HDMI to VGA adapter. Most people have a monitor lying around, not necessarily a TV. So I just picked this up so that I can connect it to uh, one of my old monitors. And that plugs in the HDMI port on the back of the Raspberry Pi. All right. And this is a powered USB hub. And I like to use this because uh, there's only two USB ports on the Raspberry Pi B. So this will allow me to connect my keyboard and mouse. Uh, we'll just run this around uh, to the back. Hardest problem with everything in these projects is trying to keep your cables under control. So it plugs right into the back there and then that acts as a USB extender. So now that I have an extender, I can take my mouse and I can plug that in there. And I'll just throw that in the back. Uh, all right, and that's one. And then I can plug my keyboard in. And uh, again, we'll just we'll neaten up with the cables later, maybe. Okay, we'll plug that in there. Um, so what I like about the powered USB hub is now I can power the RPI from the same hub. So that goes in there. And this is the micro uh, USB port that powers the uh, Raspberry Pi. And that goes in the back like so. And as soon as I do this, it's going to go over to the monitor uh, and it's going to boot up. So I'm going to just uh, do some updates on it once it loads up. And then I'll show you how to connect the uh, different grow uh, pie sensors to the board and we'll go from there.